engineer is basically about the diagnostic studies for diabetes insipidus and syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone. Uh, with diabetes um, insipidus, you have two different types. Um, it could be either central diabetes insipidus or nephrogenic diabetes. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. You have a water deprivation test that's done. Uh, basically, with central diabetes, it's characterized by an abnormally low production of ADH and the inability to concentrate the urine. Uh, it's reflected in an increase in urine osmolality after the administration of ADH when it's injected and not an increase due to water deprivation alone. Nephrogenic, there's no response even after ADH is administered either before or after. Some of the tests are the 24-hour urine test, one of the first ways to, uh, to diagnose it. Um, no fluids are restricted at this time, but it's measured from what's taken in and put out. And usually um, it's diagnosed if it's greater than four liters, but it can be up to as many as 30 liters a day. Uh, and then after, after that test is when they do the water deprivation. Um, however, if you start to have a 3 to 5% uh, difference in body weight, uh, you cannot withhold fluids from these people because it can uh, really mess them up. Uh, give them the fluids, but they'll be dry. Uh, some of the other tests are the blood work, of course, for, to test the ADH levels. And moving on to SIAG. Okay. This is an indication where you have too much antidiuretic hormone and it's taken up and you get what's called a dilutional hyponatremia. The water that's kept in the body isn't uh, evidenced in uh, edema, dependent edema like you'd normally see with like CHF, but it can cause uh, vascular overload, um, tachycardia. This is our little pituitary gland here. And this is supposed to represent the veins being congested. And you'll hear crackles in the lungs. And you also do a UA. You also do a UA for for this one as well. Test the um, ADH levels in the blood. And you get a water loading ADH suppression test. Um, those with SIA typically have a decreased blood sodium osmolality, but a normal urine sodium. And they do not produce as much urine as expected. Urine osmolality is high relative to the serum osmolality, and the ADH concentration is in excess of what would be appropriate. So you do the MRI uh, to test for like a pituitary tumor or something, which could be causing that, uh, which you would also do for diabetes insipidus. And that's pretty much about it. You know, MRI, blood levels, urinalysis, and uh, the water loading and water deprivation tests are pretty much how you diagnose it. Okay, um, probably went a little bit of, are you done? I'm sorry, are you done? Yeah. Probably got a little ahead of ourselves. We probably should have done the, the diseases first and then done the lab step. I didn't realize that's what you had. Um, with diabetes insipidus, diabetes liter literally means standing to pee. What did that say? Literally means stand well, standing to urinate. Or excessive urination. Okay, so it's, uh, standing to urinate is the diabetes insipidus is never stops. Okay.